So let's start by by seeing Sarah's wrap up of the year. Yes, it's so much fun to look back at some of the flashbacks from 2022. It definitely. So Sarah, yes. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the final art talk of this year. So uh, we have had, I think, 47 or 48 art talks in 2022. Yes. And per Malcolm Gladwell, it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert, 3,000 to become good. So with 128 art talks so far, we're on our way to becoming art experts. <laughs> To try and become an expert requires three components, talent, desire, and time. And as we've seen with the 48 artists we've reviewed this year, uh, the artists have all three elements. And so why do we love art? Art entertains us, like Walt Disney via Art Talk number 99. Art educates us, like photos from the Hubble Space Telescope. And art is a valuable community builder that helps bring people together, like the Chelsea Flower Show. Everyone has their favorite art, and we try to give a good variety. Our CEO does request that each artist chosen has at least five pieces of art in a museum or gallery or on display somewhere in the world. So we choose known established artists. And now if you'll indulge me, I'll just do a quick read through of all the artists that we've highlighted this year. We have Etruscan art, Diego Velasquez, Jennifer Packer, art of BD collages, Keith Herring, William Spratling, Albrecht Durr, Ukrainian art, influential women, the flowers of Georgia O'Keeffe, Celtic art, airplane nose art, Willa Bartowill, the art of the Hubble telescope, Fabergé, Patrick Doherty, Thomas Eakins, and BD Sports, Lola Alvarez Bravo, Annie Tempest, Walt Disney, art of celebration for our 100th art talk this year, the Chelsea Flower Show, Hieronymus Bosch, Alfred Wallace, Vanessa Barragao, Norman Rockwell, Summertime, Hayao Miyazaki, El Greco, Belle Epoque, Edward Hopper, Hampton Court, Child Hassam, Julia Morgan, Tamara Lempika, Pullman Posters 1 and 2, yeah. Social Responsibility, Las Vegas HR Tech, uh, Celebrating SMA's Anniversary, Dale Chihuly, Jacqueline Fahey, William Powell Frith, Edward Gorey, Part 2 for Halloween, David Alfaro Siqueiros, Annie Morris, Robert Lick, Hermes Scarves, and finally Patek Philippe from last mm. week. So who do we highlight for our finale? Well, here are a few choices. To review, the Etruscans flourished in the region that's now Tuscany between the eighth and first centuries BCE as the precursor to Romans and Roman culture. The Etruscans were known for their pottery and sculpture. Here we have an impasto clay jug, which had chips of mica in it. In the middle is Apollo of Veii, which was situa situated on the roof of the Porto Nacchio temple. And on the right is the famous Capitoline wolf, which represents Romulus and Remus, the two founders of Rome, and the wolf as the symbol of the city and the empire. Keith Haring was a famous pop artist and an illustrator who found success in the 70s and 80s and still remains an important pop, um, an important artist in pop culture today. Throughout his career, Haring devoted much of his time to public works, which often carried social messages. Haring was diagnosed with AIDS in 1988, and in 1989, he established the Keith Haring Foundation. Its mandate is to provide funding to AIDS organizations and children's programs and to expand the audience for Herring's work to spread awareness. Uh, in 2022, there was a resurgence of Herring's art, especially when Gap licensed his design for clothing. And you can see I have on my Keith Herring Gap t-shirt. We highlighted Ukrainian artists to show the rich history and artistry of their country and culture amidst the Russian-Ukrainian conflict that's still going on. Uh, here are two pieces by artist Mikhail Dejak. His paintings are really a feast for the eyes. His signature style is these extremely bright colors washed together to form these exciting pieces. And his work mainly consists of natural landscapes, but his style is really reminiscent both of Van Gogh and Matisse. And President Zelensky of Ukraine was named 2022 Man of the Year by Time Magazine. Artist Patrick Doherty combines his carpentry skills with his love of nature. Patrick began to learn more about primitive techniques of building 
and to experiment with tree saplings as construction material. And his work quickly evolved from single pieces on conventional pedestals to monumental scale environmental works, which required saplings and sticks by the truckloads. Uh, over the last 30 some years, he's built over 300 of these works and become internationally acclaimed. His sculptures have been seen worldwide from Scotland to Japan to Brussels and all over the United States. We added to our knowledge of Mexican art with Lola Alvarez Bravo, a Mexican photographer known for her surreal and modern documentation of Mexico's people, cities, and villages. As a photographer, Alvarez Bravo traveled throughout Mexico documenting scenes of everyday life, but her creative contributions went beyond her artistic output. Her other roles included art teacher, curator, film director, and gallery owner. And she actually, her gallery was the first solo exhibit of her friend, Rita Kahlo. We looked at Hampton Court in Art Talk 110. This was Henry VIII's most famous residence that was added on to by William and Mary in the 17th century. And monarchs and their gardeners have all influenced the gardens in different ways, from Cardinal Wolsey's gardens to Henry's privy gardens to the grape vine thought to be the oldest and largest grape vine in history. And of course, we can't forget the art gallery located inside the palace, as well as the kitchen devoted solely to chocolate. Hmm. Uh, there were so many interesting Pullman posters to talk about that we had to split it into two art talks. The posters proved effective and enticing for advertising. During the Art Deco years of the 1920s and 30s, travel posters graced station platforms and billboards to persuade affluent and adventurous travelers to enjoy this newly modern luxury travel. Uh, we had the business development team pick their favorite posters. And here we can see Nice, La Côte d'Azur, African Safari, London Motor Show, and the Monaco Grand Prix. We looked at images from the Hubble Space Telescope. On March 30th this year, Hubble detected the farthest star ever seen that was created within the first billion years after the universe's birth. And on this slide, we can see the heart of NGC 1097, a spiral galaxy that lies about 48 million light years from Earth. We can see auroras at the North Pole of Jupiter and the Pillars of Creation, which is a star forming region inside the Eagle Nebula. And of course, we can't forget our two most recent presentations about Hermes scarves and Patek Philippe watches, two companies that represent the idealized luxury of French goods and fashion. Both Hermes and Patek Philippe use the highest quality of materials with prices to match. Uh, whether it's mulberry silk or a watch that shows a celestial map, these would be holiday gifts that would last for generations. <laughs> And looking into the new year, we will be back on January 12th with Michelangelo. Happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays, yes, happy Sarah. Holidays, Sarah. Holidays. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. And we're really looking forward to, uh, to next year. We are, Michelangelo. Sure, definitely. Now, in total, you've given us 128 hours of art education. I think you said that for us to be good or proficient, 3,000 are needed and 10,000 as experts. Right. So that's, that's going to be about... <clears throat> A few years of art talk coming our way. We are on our way there. We <laughs> are. We are definitely on our way. And everybody loves the art talks. Yeah. Yeah. What was your favorite art talk, Marie? My, I think my favorite was the Pullman posters, just mm. because it reminds me of vacation, places I want to go. I like them. Yeah. What about you, Sarah? What was your favorite? I love the Belle Epoque region. We um, did Henri Toulouse de Lautrec uh, mm -hmm. in the first year of our art talks. That was one of my favorites. So I think this year it was the Belle Epoque. In uh, general. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard to choose. I yeah. like I love all of this and particularly the masters. But I got to say, being a, being a kind of a tech geek, I I love the Hubble. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah, those were incredible. Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. I I particularly like the uh, Dowerty. The uh, art made out of yeah. sticks. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And 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 the and the model in the center one. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. someone. That's a former SMA associate. Yes. The person that was sitting inside. One of my the favorite one. interns. Yes. <laughs> well, thank I like you any, so much. I like anything where Sarah has to talk French. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Peter. Peter, you're so easily impressed. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.
<laughs> Sarah, happy holiday to you and your family. And we'll yes. see you in the new year. Thank you. See you in the new year, everyone. <laughs>